Greetings, Dan, KD9 MSB from the frozen thunder of the Northwoods of Wisconsin. Just wanted to share a little uh, thing that we've come up with here for antennas for POTA activations. Thanks for stopping by. It's one of the simplest antennas we've used yet. Thought I would try it, it worked great. Got an NMO connector here. I'm gonna NMO to 3 8 24 thread adapter here. I'll get into more details of this with the video. Coax comes right inside the truck. We're good to go for an activation in the North Roads of Wisconsin. I got some details coming up for you. Stick around. Well, greetings and thanks for stopping by. I'm at the Ice Age Trail of Plover River segment here. We've got a, another situation that Bob from kd 9 SZN and I are going to try out. I tried this at home. The, and the readings for the antenna were just amazing. In my quest for coming up with shorter, smaller, quick antennas for poter runs, I had put this NMO connector on the truck. And I use that for 2 meter and 70 centimeters and APRS and stuff like that when we're going different places. But I went and bought an NMO to 3 eighths adapter here. Made by Tram. Hook City NMO. Your 17 foot whip screws right into the top of it. We'll do that. That's the company that makes them. And we'll put the antenna up here. There. I'll extend the antenna all the way up here and I'll get back to you in just a moment. So we got the 17 foot whip up into the air, fully extended, all the elements are out at this point. Coax comes inside of the truck here. We'll turn on the analyzer and see what we got for readings. I'm gonna use the multi SWR setting on the rig expert here. You can see we got a 1.17 for the center of the 20 meter band at 14288. All the other bands came out just phenomenal on here. Uh, just some real quick readings. 20 meters was about 1.3 when I tried it at home. 17 meters in the middle of the band was 1.22 with two elements down. Two of the elements of the antenna, 24.960. At 12 meters was 1.54 down three elements. And good old 10 meters, 28,500 at 1.19 down four elements for 10 meters. So we're gonna do a little quick activation here and see what we come up with in the real world. KD9 MSP, we'll talk to you later. And we're gonna play with a couple more readings here. 18, 139, we're on the 17 meter band and we are down at right now at 1.14, my chart had me at 1.22. If we go down another element, Bob's out there, KD9 SEN is running us down another element. We are 18, 139. Let's go another element there, Bob, see what happens. There we are. 24,960, so the 12 meter band I had on my chart here, we're at 1.54 down, I think four right now, right? Three or four? Anyways, for 24,960, we at 1.5, and if we go down one more, that we're pretty much dialed into 28,500, our 10 meter band. And that'll do it there.
We'll do a little port activation and see what we can do with this bad boy. It sets up too darn quick. Yeah, you know, I talked about I ruined Porter. Well, this kind of just sort of ruined all the fun for us here. It was a lot of fun setting up antennas and playing with things and sure did make it doggone easy. Talk to you later. All righty, my friend. Thanks for hunting us. Have a great afternoon, 73. <laughs> November 6, Echo Bravo. Tango Papa, hold on. Uh, Kilo 6, Echo Bravo Station, come on back, please. Uh, November 6, Echo Bravo. Okay. Got our November 6, Echo Bravo, an ice 5-9 signal coming to the park here today, QSL. Yeah, very good. You've got an ice 5-9 signal here all wow. in Oklahoma, and the name is Dick. Oklahoma. Well, Dick, thanks for coming back to us from Oklahoma, and please stand by for a second operator at park number Kilo 4238. <laughs> N6EB, this is Kilo Delta 9, Sierra Zulu November. Nice 5-9 signal here into 4238 today. QSL? Uh, QSL, you also have a nice signal here, 5-9. Uh, KD9SZN, November 6, Echo Bravo, and have a good time. All righty, my friend. Thank you for hunting us today. We're having a good mm -hmm. one and beautiful afternoon up here. So take care, uh, and thanks for hunting, 73. Mm -hmm. 73, thanks. And did we have a Kilo Echo 4 station that was standing by, please? Kilo Echo 4, Papa Tango Papa. Roger, Roger, Kilo Echo 4, Papa Tango, Papa, nice 5-9 signal coming in the park number, Kilo 4238, QSL. QSL, QSL, you're 5-7, North Carolina. Roger, Roger, thanks for the 5-7 in North Carolina. Please stand by for Bob, the second operator here. QSL. KE4, PTP, this is Kilo Delta 9, Sierra Zulu November. Nice 5-9 signal here in front of us, QSL. All righty, my friend. Thanks for New York. We'll take it. I, I've been to Brooklyn many times, but that was uh, a few years back. Anyway, hey, thanks for hunting us today. Hope your afternoon goes well. Have a great one. 73. And we had a Whiskey 2 station. Uh, kilo, Kilo 1, please stand by. Whiskey 2, come on back, please. Gotcha, Whiskey 2, Lima Lima Tango at a 5-9 coming to park number Kilo 4238, QSL. Yeah, QSL, got your 5-9 here. Also, Central New Jersey, uh, stand by for your second up. Right. Roger, Roger, here comes Bob. Watch out, here he goes. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, W2LLT. This is Kilo Delta 9, Sierra Zulu November. Nice 5-9 signal here into 4238 today. QSL. Yeah, QSL, 5-9 also into Central New Jersey. All righty, my friend. Hey, thanks for hunting us today. We're having a great time here in the beautiful sunny afternoon for once. And anyway, have a great afternoon yourself, 73. And we had a Kilo Kilo 1 station standing by. Are you still there, sir? Kilo Kilo number 1, Lima Lima. Brad in North Carolina has you five and five. Roger, Roger. Kilo Kilo number Brad. 1, Lima Lima. Got you to 592 back into the north woods of Wisconsin, the mighty frozen tundra of the north woods of Wisconsin, USL. <coughs> Please stand by for a second operator. Kilo Kilo 1, Lima Lima. This is Kilo Delta 9, Sierra Zulu November. Nice 5 9 signal here into 4238 today, QSL. So just to wrap up this video on this uh, antenna test that we did here, I kind of started out the video with, with a title that, did I ruin POTA by coming up with this antenna system? It's so easy. Um, and it worked. Uh, according to our records here, we had about 35 contacts in a little less than an hour. And that was a double activation. So 
uh, of the contacts that we made, we had to take time to switch back and, and forth with uh, the two different operators that we had here. Uh, there's no radios on this system. It, it worked real good. The test with the rig, rig expert AA650 Zoom uh, turned out real good with the tests that we did. Uh, so I think it was a real good activation. Uh, we're going to try it again sometime maybe do a few more tests and just leave comments below where you can uh, just let me know what you think of the system. I, I kind of said that we might have ruined POTA because half the fun I have with POTA and doing it with my, my buddy Bob KD9SCN is that we go out, we test antenna systems, things that we've put together and made, other systems that other people have put together and that we've tried out and some of them that we've actually bought. But this was one that we uh, just kind of came up with. I thought I'd try it and well, lo and behold, uh, the tests were pretty good with everything. Let me know what you think again. Subscribe to the channel. We might have a few more videos coming out uh, in the future, future with a few more things that we got coming up. And I'm Dan, KD9 MSP from the Northwoods of Wisconsin. Till then, take care. 73, see you down the log.